Hello and welcome back to another one of my Ultimate Iron Man videos. As you can see, I have been uh, doing a little bit of uh, testing out of the Hollowed Sepulcher, the uh, agility area that was added with the Sins of the Father quest, which we recently unlocked. And uh, I've only done like, I think we have eight level three, uh, 10 level one and twos as you can see right there. I'm still uh, Not a hundred percent perfect with it uh, But I'm I'm doing my best. It's 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 interesting. This is it's much more difficult than I thought it was I it's like actually actually difficult um, There's five floors and they're all ranging from obstacles like that You have to run through and then sometimes like I just did here you can do a kind of uh, Skilling challenge to get over and attempt to unlock a coffin Which as you can see that only got a monk rib from that's pretty bad But you can also get um, Renar so you get one each or you, you I got 157 adamant bolts that's been from one uh, You can get monkfish. I got five monkfish from one of them. It's they all all the chests share the same uh, drop table, but uh, the, the further down you are, like that was floor one, and so that's worth less. The further are down you are, the, the more they're worth. And I think for this, I'll just be able to dodge it, yeah. As you can see, I also have some rune light plugins in. I've got showing the tile I'm gonna walk to, and then this blue one is the tile that I'm actually on. That's, that's like where the server actually sees your character, both of which are, or at least the one where you're actually at is, I'd say essential for this, because there's a lot of times where it looks like you're one place and you're not even you're not even close, which means you can get past traps a little easier. I didn't make that one, so I'm gonna wait here. But yeah, I've been uh, really enjoying this, although I do only have enough to get to three out of the five levels, and the you can only open the biggest checks with has the best chance for rewards and um, the most hollowed marks if you get to level five, which I can't do yet, but I'm doing all right. It's still decent XP. I think it's around 45, maybe 50K XP with my level right now, um, but I'm usually going around like 35K XP an hour whenever I'm fully committed to doing this, and I'm still learning, like I said. You can do this tick perfectly and get crazy good XP rates. I mentioned that there were hollowed marks is one of the things you can get from the coffins and what you use for hollowed marks is this guy right over here he sells all these items and these are all things you can use in the mini game uh, you don't actually need if you just want to strictly run through and just get the to the very end of the level and get your agility xp you don't need any of these items uh, you can see all i have right now is a myth grapple and a crossbow to, to use the myth grapple and that lets me get the grapple hook ones, which is pretty much the only one worth ones I can have as an ultimate Ironman, because the other ones you can also have, there's a hammer, because sometimes you can repair bridges, but you need planks and nails for that, so obviously I don't keep those around. Uh, the hollowed focus is for sometimes you can do, like it's like a portal that you have to use an enchant jewelry spell, so I might consider bringing those in the future. I just didn't want to worry about it right now, because I'm still kind of just testing this out. And then you have a hollowed symbol, which is for one, there's one where you can offer vampire dust to get into a door, you need two. This make, if you have the necklace, you only need one. Again, not easy for me to get, not worthwhile to grab every single time. And then you have the hollowed grapple, which takes place of the grapple, and it increases the chance. You can, all of these obstacles, you have a chance of failing or just not doing it right, right away. And that grapple, all of those increase the chance of successfully doing them if you have the, the special Saradoma versions from uh, you buy from here. You can only use these inside the uh, real, like the hollowed sepulchre. Like this can't be used as a normal myth grapple. I still don't know if myth grapple can break when you're in here. I, it hasn't happened to me yet, but I'm you know worried it will at some point. Uh, great thing for this guy though, especially for UIM. This was added a while ago, but you can actually exchange and keep all of the items here once you get them. So it's actually worthwhile for us to save up and get them because we can just store them right in here. Uh, all of these are worth 100. Uh, this is that, that's just for adding time. It's not important. And this is only cost one coin. It's it's for the teleport back, and then of course you have uh, uh, die for the dark graceful set and an acorn to turn the squirrel into dark acorn, which or dark squirrel, which I might want to go for at some point. Maybe whenever I have you know all five floors unlocked, that'll be more worth worth it to go for. Because I think for items, the only one I'm going to go for, I'm going to get. Grapple will be useful, but I'm also going to go for the ring first because all of these cost 100, but the ring costs 250 because the ring makes you don't take you don't take damage from anything in the crypt. 
So even though you can still fail, you don't have to worry about keeping food or prayer up uh, for failing, which will be fantastic. So that's absolutely what I'm saving up for. We'll see how much I get. And ending this run is going to be a level 75. I'm only at 71 marks, so I think I'm definitely going to try and stay until 250 and see what that gets me. Although that didn't unlock the Prif course. The reason I came here is because I tried to use a Prif course and realized I was close. But uh, I still like doing this. You know, there's no reason to not stop. It would just be a waste of these these marks. Been waiting a while for this. I finally got a strange old lockpick from one of these. Uh, having a lockpick increases your chance of not getting poison when you open any of the things. Uh, the strange old lockpick, it's something where it lets you like go into the Barrows rooms. Like you, like someone said, you know how doors are locked in Barrows, you can just bypass that if you have this. Uh, but it has charges, which it uses for that. But uh, using it here does not consume any charges. So it's literally just a, uh, you know, a good thing to, to have. Oh, I fail there when I talk. Okay, so we go trade, uh, hallowed ring, grab that. Oh, obviously you can't see it, but that's uh, that's big. It means we can get rid of the holy book, uh, so we can start carrying Tome of Fire just for a little easier alks and stuff. But the biggest thing, go ahead and exchange. Just pop that right in there. Don't even have to worry about uh, getting it again. So that's great. Um, I am fairly close to level 76, 39k, but I think I'm going to wait for now. I mean, I'll probably finish up the level before the, this episode ends, but uh, for right now, I want to head back to Slayer, which is somewhat the reason I started this whole grind, was to get some, some Slayer done. Didn't realize I was that close, but there's uh, 86 uh, hit points. Starting to slay her off with a shaman task that I had gotten the last time I was working on Slayer. Shamans are, uh, I actually quite like them. They're not that terrible, even with just an RCB. Um, although I did, I, when I was gearing up, I forgot that you needed the, the shades and armor, so I got all my, my full gear on and then I uh, had to switch it. That's why I've got uh, Carols and Barrows in my inventory. Although I would have taken them both out anyway, because I don't want to risk them. But, uh, but yeah, uh, we've killed, we've only done one Slayer task, I should have shown it right before I started, but it's like 120 something, I think, just about, so, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get the Dragon Warhammer, uh, you know, always nice for the chance for the, the Dragon Warhammer, and I need to stop talking quickly, because I just messed that up, and I really shouldn't have. This hurts a little, the, uh, the wrong dragon drop, and the wrong rare drop table drop. Oh. Good Alk, though. That's, uh, that is a Lizardman task done. Unfortunately, the Warhammer did not reveal itself. I meant to show this off at the start, but we are looking at 217 shamans killed so far. So not even close to drop rate. All right, so then real quick, I'm over at Watson's house because I mentioned I had the D-Spear, which would be a nice Alk, but... Um, apparently you can check to see what stash units you have filled. Okay, alright, so this doesn't say what's in it, it just says what's, uh, if you have it or not. Oh, I have every single easy stash built. Okay, um, well I will, let me look through real quick and see. So the chapel in West Ardy, I know that's one of them, and then I know it's on top of Trollheim Mountain is the other one, so... I don't. All right, so I will make sure that I um, do good that. I think it's just a couple, like, uh, rune items. That'll be, you know, nice to have. I was getting worried I couldn't find this stash unit, but it just turned out that it was it was over here. Can we build it while we're on the sled? Please tell me you can. Oh, that's amazing. Bang, there we go. Second dragon spear stored. Decided I'd do some gauntlet before I suicide. I figure I'm gonna try and at least do a couple, couple runs. That any any time I have like my full inventory on I me, mean, just because you know, no reason not to. And I actually got 81 magic from that. And we also are very very close to a cooking level as well. We'll probably get that in a couple three four runs just from cooking the uh, the raw paddlefish. I believe we are going to get a level from all this. Yeah, 76 cooking. We finally, finally got it. Loop half of key. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this Slayer task, I think, and then 
uh, I don't know. I decided to do a bit of agility because I want to go ahead and open the elven chest with the crystal key, and I need crystal shards to do that. Uh, normally, you only need 10 if you can make it yourself, but you need 80 smithing and crafting to do that, which I do not have. I'm close-ish on crafting, and a little close on smithing too, but uh, not close enough to do, do a grind right now. And for all crystal equipment, you can... Also, we're going to get 76 agility here. There we go. We can use the Zora cut shortcut. Amazing. Uh, for all crystal equipment, you can make it yourself or pay. I think it's usually like 50% extra, so something costs like 100. It's up for 150, you can pay someone else to do it for you. So same thing for the key. Rather than using 10 crystals, you could pay someone 15 crystals to have it do it for you. So I think uh, this is probably the best way for us to get crystals right now. Gauntlet is usually the better choice for being quick, but I don't have all my stuff on me and I didn't feel like doing that because I'm not going to suicide that soon. So I figured I'd just do this because I also needed to get some agility levels, uh, maybe just get it up and also for, for Zorla and stuff. So uh, we'll stay here for a bit. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much longer. It's uh, There's a portal that shows up usually once per run and you have a, I don't know what the chance itself is. It, it seems like it's about like one in three maybe, maybe even one in two, that every time you go through a portal you'll get one. So... Uh, just gotta keep waiting for that, and we'll be uh, be good to go. All right, so we would normally be able to just use this bowl here, but we don't have the levels, so I think we can just talk to this person, and then uh, I don't need to know about it. Could you do it for me? Crystal key. All right, so yeah, just then she takes that, and we've got the chest right up here. All right. Let's see what we get. Okay. Oh, the rubies are actually really nice. That's 13 more rubies for uh, for the dig site pendant. And then, of course, finally, the dragon stone. And with that, I will be calling this episode here. We didn't do that much diverse stuff. Uh, I had to, unfortunately, kind of make this episode because I just took so long to get the, the loop path. But we did it. We got the dragon stone we needed. And now it is time to check off the very last item on our list, Dragon Slayer 2. We'll see you all next time for the last quest before the quest cape.